hey guys welcome back to my channel thanks for joining me once again for another review and another just another review not unboxing uh like like in the previous video i've showed you guys i was doing unboxing for raiden and prior to that i was doing unboxing for scorpion um today i will be doing unboxing for the mortal Kombat 11 sub-zero however i don't know why they referring to him as Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat 11 because he is wearing a Mortal Kombat 2 uh, cost, uh, his, uh, costume because uh, I don't know what, what's going on with them um, unfortunately when I bought it, uh, the, 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 I guess the, the head piece fell off so I gotta glue that up, not a big deal, I got this for a steal anyway so the head piece is right here and of course that's the, outer, uh, the back of the box I'm sure you've probably seen this uh, statue at boxing in different videos. Those of you who haven't seen it, here's your chance to look at it. Let's open up the box. A typical uh, gallery studio box. They do this to every single statue. This is the way they box. Okay, let's pull this out. Oh, shit. Okay. One second. So I really didn't have to glue the head. Uh, it was a pop-in pop head back uh, where it's supposed to be. Uh, cool diorama resembles eyes, of course, uh, to see through. Uh, again, all these little little minor details, gallery uh, by with gallery diorama, and uh, they could have made it with little lights inside so you could light up. You know, you could see that it's really ice, and uh, you know, charge a little bit more for their statues because these things do doesn't do not look that bad because. Uh, I mean, of course, I prefer two different variations of his costume, okay. But listen, for the price that we're getting these things, uh, they're not bad. However, I do believe he's missing this piece that's supposed to be hanging in this area. I don't know why they didn't include it. It's kind of fucking stupid. But uh, it is what it is. Very nice design. Of course, the concrete is nice. However, I don't know why they still made even the concrete see-through. I don't know, it should have been just solid color. Okay, otherwise it's not a bad statue. Again, it's pretty, pretty good detail. Uh, the hands, you know, making, I, mean, I guess, creating ice out of his hand. Not a bad detail at all. Again, for the price uh, I paid, uh, I'm not, I can't complain. It's a really, really decent statue. I'm not gonna say it's that well good statue, but it's, for the price, it's a decent statue, it was Sub-Zero. Hopefully, gallery diorama. Is going to keep releasing more of these Mortal Kombat statues. Now the Mortal Kombat 1 is going to be coming out. Hopefully they'll be releasing more. Hopefully they'll be putting more detail into these statues. Because they have companies like Artifacts, Karabukia, which is the same company. They charge a little bit more, over $200. But their statues are really beautiful. And they also come with dioramas. But they're, they're putting a lot more effort into the detail of that particular statue. Like right now they're releasing the Flash uh, Keaton Batman. I pre-ordered that one from Sideshow. And that looks really, really good. Of course, Hot Toys came out with their own version of Keaton Batman, but I don't want another figure. You know, uh, just like uh, Diamond Select Toys, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, not Diamond Select Toys, uh, DC Collectibles also coming out with their Flash uh, Keaton statue. So, you know, everyone is always trying to be on the board when it comes to a brand new superhero movie. You know, everybody always want to make their own statues or their figures. But anyway, let's go back to the Sub-Zero. Uh, again, not a bad statue for uh, for the price, even they're asking, because Sub-Zero and Katana right now, uh, actually no, Scorpion is actually the most expensive one right now, following Katana, Sub-Zero, and Raiden. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the video, rate, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.